Hey guys, welcome to the fifth and final Amazon Sell Essential tutorial. In this video, I'm gonna break down the reports menu on the platform, what reports are available, and which are the most useful of them all. So from your dashboard, head to the reports menu. To start, payments. This is just a summary of how much Amazon is paying you out. You've probably seen this before as you can access it by clicking on your balance on the home screen, statements, transaction level reports, or date range reports. Now when looking at transaction view reporting, you have the option to search by various dates, such as a certain statement date, a specific date range, or payments made within the last specified number of days. You can also search by order ID, or filter the view by transaction types to identify refunds from returns, chargebacks, service fees, or other types of payments. Next, Amazon Selling Coach. To be honest, this isn't that useful. The idea is that it gives you ideas of products to sell, but I've never found the information to be very helpful. Now onto business reports. You have your main sales dashboard that has an overview of your sales. You can then view your sales on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis with a focus on different metrics, such as the total items ordered and sessions, being the number of people that view your listing. Then you can see the page views. This is the number of times that a page has been viewed, but this could be multiple visits by a single person. The sessions, on the other hand, are the number of individual people. Then you can view your sales with a focus on the refund rate for each of those days. It's a good idea to keep track of this number to make sure it's not too high. You can then choose to break down this information by ASIN or individual products. So you can see how much each one gets and compares to the other. You can also do this by parent or child ASINs or even the brand names. If for instance, you have a number of products within one brand name. Next on the menu is fulfillment. Here are reports for replenishing inventory, reconciling inventory, and Amazon fulfillment reports, which tell you where your inventory has been stored for any given period. This information is useful if you need to file sales tax for a particular state, which is commonly referred to as sales tax nexus. We'll cover more on this topic in another video, but for now, it's good to know that you can find this information here. Advertising. This will more than likely be the most useful report of the bunch. Later in this video, I'll show you this in more detail, but for now, onto the return reports. And then click FBA reports. Now, let's face it, Amazon makes mistakes. The way it's supposed to work is that anything returned that is still sellable goes right back into your inventory. Anything defective is stored as unfulfillable and sits there until you create a removal or disposal order. This is where you can find that information. What you'll find there is a list of everything that was returned within the date parameters that you set, as well as the reason for the return. If an item is put back in your inventory, you should receive a credit for the return. If it's defective, you get the item back. If you notice neither of these things has happened, you should ask Amazon to investigate, open a claim and ask them to tell you either where your item is or why you haven't been given a credit for the return. Next, tax document library. If you're a professional seller who's configured the tax calculation service, you'll have access to a sales tax report. You'll have a document for each tax year and the ability to download it underneath action. So now you know what each menu item represents. Next, I'm gonna share with you the reports that I think are the most useful for your Amazon business. Feedback reports. Customer feedback is vitally important to the health of every seller offering products on Amazon. By closely monitoring the feedback you receive, you can work directly to manage any negative feedback and respond in whatever manner is most appropriate. In order to respond to feedback, you first have to know what it is. There are a few different ways you can access this information, the most basic of which is via the Feedback Manager in Seller Central. You can access this tool by selecting Feedback from the Performance dropdown on the Seller Central homepage. Once inside, you can view your overall feedback rating, which is a breakdown of your positive, neutral, and negative feedback within the last 30, 90, or 365 days, as well as over the lifetime of your account. You can also download feedback reports so you can follow up accordingly. Now, just before the next menu item, real quick, 
Are you finding this video valuable? If so, it would mean so much if you could give it a like down below. And even subscribe if you'd like more videos like this in the future. Thank you so much. Now, on to the next item, advertising. If you're running advertising campaigns through sponsored products, you'll want to periodically review the results of your campaign to make changes as time goes on. To access the advertising reports, begin by selecting advertising reports from the reports dropdown. Here you'll find the most useful report within Seller Central, in my opinion, and that is the search term report. With it, you can identify which search terms are the highest performing for your advertising campaigns. With this information, you can take these highest performing search terms. Remember, these are the ones that have gotten you the most sales so far, and then place these into their own PPC campaigns if you're not already advertising against them. You would do this because you've confirmed that they are already good at converting customers. So the assumption here would be that the conversions that you're gonna get if you were to advertise on them would be quite good as well. You might realize that you're not using some of these top search terms in the title, description, and bullet points of your listing, which again could make a tremendous difference for getting your listing ranked. You could also look at the search terms that aren't bringing you sales and perhaps add these as negative keywords to your campaigns, meaning that you won't advertise on them and waste money. We spend a lot of time looking for reliable keyword data. For instance, we have our very own Keyword Scout, which is a fantastic tool for discovering keywords. Yet you really can't get any better than the data here, the real search terms on your own listing. So utilize your search term report. We've just scratched the surface of what you can do with this report, but just know it's incredibly powerful and what I believe to be the most helpful of all the reports on Seller Central. So that concludes the reports menu and our series on Seller Central. I hope you've come away with a greater understanding of how to use this platform and feel confident moving forward and utilizing it for your business. But now I wanna hear from you. What else would you like to learn about? Is there anything that I've missed or that you'd like more clarification on? Would you like to learn more about the search term reports that I mentioned? Or just any other topics that you'd like us to cover here at Jungle Scout? Let me know in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like below and subscribe to get more videos like this in the future. All the very best of luck with your Amazon business and I'll see you in the next video.